In this video, we're going to be adding a comment section to our single.php file. And we're going to be using these two functions to help us do that. And we'll be getting into these the documentation on these pretty soon. And we'll, so we'll start in the single.php file. And then towards the end of the video, we're going to create a comments.php file. And we're going to customize our uh, comments template. And these three functions are going to help us do that. So first, let's go check out the documentation for these two these two functions. And again, I'll have these links down in the description. If you want to just go down there, click on that to find these pages quicker. And also, I'm going to be copying a lot of snippets in this video. The reason is, is I want to speed up the video so it doesn't take so long. And also, I want to show you where I'm getting all this documentation from, or all, the, all this code from, so you could go out and copy and paste it yourself whenever you need it. So first, let's go check out this conditional tags page. Now this is a really good page. The reason is it shows you all these functions like WordPress has many many functions that return true or false. That's all they do. They go basically they answer a question for you. They give you a yes or no answer. Now this page has a lot of boolean functions I call them. So all these functions return true or false. And right here in the comments section we're going to be using this one comments open it's going to check to, to see if the comment section is activated in the dashboard basically and if it's true then it's going to show the comment template so we're going to be using this and then also the other function we're going to be using in our single.php file is the comment template page and here's the snippet i was talking about we're going to just copy this and paste it but if you want to go and check out the documentation on this this pulls in the comment template and this it's a pre-made WordPress template that WordPress automatically gives you. And all you need to do is activate it and it'll it'll have a pre-made comment section already made up for you. And that's great. And that's what we're gonna use. So let's just go down here and we're gonna copy this and just paste this into our single.php file. So let's copy that. And let's pull up our single.php file. Inside of the single.php file, inside of the the loop we created a couple of videos ago is where we're going to paste this code. So right below the category p tag here, I'm just going to go and create another PHP tag. And then inside, paste that code. And that's all you really need to do to pull in the, the uh, default comment template is just that. So let's go and save it. Now we need to go and activate it in the dashboard. In my case, I already have it activated, but I just want to show you just in case you don't have yours activated. So let's go into the dashboard. And then go to post. Pick any post you want. I'm just going to click the on the first one. And then uh, up here, screen options, click on that. And I already have it checked, but make sure you check on that uh, to get this to, to activate. Then also down here, like if I uncheck it, it disappears down here. You notice that? So if I click on it again, this shows up down here. And this allows comments, so make sure that's selected, and then update. Okay, great. So let's go to the front end and see if we have a comment section. So let's go to our single.php file, refresh it. And then if you go down here, I already created a bunch of comments uh, before the video just to save some time. So as you can see, it doesn't look that great right now, but um, you actually have a comment section, so that's great. So let's go ahead and add a couple styles real quick, just in case you, you ever want to do that. And I'm just going to add some padding margin and some border. It's not going to look that great, but just to show you that you can. So right click, inspect. Let's go and check out what classes these are in. So the two classes we want to look at are, oh, okay, great. Here it is, OL. So the comment list, we'll add some styles to that. And then also we'll add some styles to the comment respond. So comment list and comment respond. So let's pull up our CSS and add a couple styles real quick. So go into the CSS, open that up. I'm just gonna time lapse this and I'll be back in one second. Okay, great, nothing special here. Just a couple borders and some padding margin. That's it, let's save it. Let's see what it looks like real quick. Let's pull it up in the front end. I'm just gonna X out of this and refresh it and great now keep in mind if your styles don't kick in restart your WAMP server or you can go up and clean out the cache by going to more tools clear browsing data and just clearing out your cache clear browsing data 
but uh, I don't need to do that in my case. Okay, great. So as you can see, you could add styles that way and it, you could actually make it look pretty good. But what I wanna do is customize it a little bit more. So what we're gonna do is create a comments.php file. Like for example, I wanna change the text inside of this button, change this, uh, leave a reply, change that to something else. And WordPress gives you a bunch of different functions. It makes it where you can actually do that. So what we're gonna do is first create a comments.php file and then we're gonna go out and check out the documentation on the functions that we're going to use. So let's go back to the code editor. So let's create a comments page right inside of our root. So new file. All right, great. And it's important you store it at the root and also you name it correctly because WordPress is going to actually be looking for this document. So now I'm just going to throw some HTML in here. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to be getting rid of it later on. So div, and then I'll just call this comment outer or something. That'd be good. Okay, and then I'm just going to go and add some styles to this real quick. And just throw that right here at the bottom. Okay, I just did what we did above here. Just added border and changed text color. That's it. So save this and save this. And let's go to the front end and check it out to see if this comment form is working. So let's refresh it. And our style should be kicking in. Okay, great. So now we're using our comments.php file instead of the default comment section that WordPress gives us. And that's great. So now we could really customize it the way we want. Now WordPress has many different functions you can use within the comment section, but we're just gonna be using two in this video. And if we go up to the template tags, and again, this link will be in the description below. You can just click on that to find this page quicker. And then we're going to be using two functions. The one is the comment form. And the second one is down here is the WP list comments. So let's first go just check out this one. So right click, open in a new tab. And this function gives us the comment form. So let's just go copy this, copy that. Okay, great. And then we could pass in an argument, but we'll do that in a second, actually, to change anything. And here are all the different arguments you can use, but we'll get into that in a second. Let's just go ahead and paste this into our project. So I'm just going to throw that right here in the comment. All right, save it. And let's run it in the front. Let's see how it looks. And as you can see, it's the exact same thing as we had before. And it's even using the same classes we had before because we're getting that border, so that's great. So now let's say, for example, you wanna change the text inside the label right here. Well, they give you an option where you could pass in an argument. And if we go back to that page, and right here is where we could pass the argument, but down here are all the different arguments you could use inside of this function. And what I like to do a lot of the times, if you're making a lot of changes, is just copy this whole section right here. And these are all default settings inside of that function, but we're gonna go and just tweak one of them for now. So I'm just gonna copy this whole entire thing. You don't have to copy the whole thing. Usually if you just got one or, one or two arguments you're tweaking, you could just add that, but I'll just copy the whole thing and show you the whole thing. And then we're gonna need to create a PHP tag and just paste that. And then I'm just gonna make one change, but here are all the different changes you can make. But right here, I'm just gonna say, uh, inside that label, I'm just gonna say test. And the rest, I don't really care about changing. I'm just gonna get rid of all, all of it. I just wanna show you, that's one way of doing it. Just copy and paste it and then go line by line cha making changes. And then uh, let's change the name of this argument, comments like, or something like that. Okay, great, let's go and finish this up, clean this up. And this is the one we changed. I'm just gonna get rid of this and just get rid of the rest of this. Okay, so let's just save that. And then, um, oh, let's go copy this though, very important. And throw that right in here as our argument. And now we can save it. Now, uh, if we refresh it, that text in the side of that button should have changed. So let's go back to 
the browser and check it out. Let's refresh it again. And then this button should change. Okay, great. So you could really tweak it the way you want it and make a lot of changes. So let's go ahead and add the next function. That's going to be the list of all our comments. And again, I have that right here. And if we go down to the bottom, it's WP list comments. So right click on that, open that in a new tab. And then if we check this out, it's very similar to the function we just used. Like you could pass in an argument and really tweak it the way you want it. So let's first just go paste it like we did before and just check it out. So copy that. And let's just throw that in our project. And I'm just going to throw this right here, right below our arguments. And let's get rid of the arguments for now. Save it and let's check it out again. So if we go to the front, a lot of testing, refresh it. And as you can tell, our comments are kicking in. So now we want to pass in some arguments. Like let's say, for example, I don't want them stacking this far in all these comments. I just want them to stack in one row. So uh, WordPress gives you a way to tweak that. And also our border is not working here. So let's go and see why uh, it's a different class. So let's just go, just go check that out. Right click, inspect. And it's this container, and I'm just going to go into the CSS and just change this, that class to, to this ID. And then this one right here, I'm just going to convert that to an ID. And paste. Okay, that should work. Now we should get that border back. So let's go back to the, the front. And X out of this. Refresh it. And our styles are not kicking in. So now we're going to have to go clear the cache or restart your WAMP server. I'm just going to clear the cache. And clear. This happens once in a while. All right, great. X out of that. And then let's refresh this one more time. That should kick in. Okay, there we go. All right, so now let's go pass in some arguments. Like one, we want to take care of this this where that's stacking in. And also, I'm just going to change uh, the, the re reply text. So let's go check that out in the uh, browser here. Oh, this one. Here we go. So I'm just going to copy this whole entire thing. And let's go to the code editor and add this in. So I'm just going to throw the other one right up here, I guess. That'd be fine. Let's give some space and paste it right there. Now, we're not going to use a lot of these. Uh, we're just going to leave it at the default, but I just want to make just a couple changes. The max death, I'm going to change that to two. Now, that should change the depth of the comments. So if we go back to uh, the browser and go here, this should be stack two in. So it should go down to this row, not all the way in like it's going in here. So that should fix that. Then if we go back to here, I want to change this one also, reply to comment or something like that. doesn't really matter. All right, great. So uh, we can get rid of the rest of this, just leave it at the default. So if you don't add anything in, it's just going to set it to the default. So we're just going to get rid of the rest of this and get rid of all of these. This, and let's just change this. All right, and then I'm just going to copy this. And don't forget to pass it into our function. All right. Perfect. So let's go and check that out and see how that looks. So let's go and refresh it one more time. And then if we go and check it out, and as you can tell, the text has changed. And also, it's lining up real nicely. It's not stacking all the way in. So that's great. So WordPress really gives you a lot of different options to customize your comment section. And I highly recommend you go check, check out the template tags, go down to the comment tags, and there you can go on all day long reading up on all these different functions. So now we're ready to move on now that we got our checklist done here. Now we're ready to move on to the next thing, and we're going to start creating archive.php files in the next video and start looking into that. So I'll see you then.